What's up everyone? I want to share five things that I think have helped me support Sarah and things that are broad enough that can be used to help I think anyone with chronic illness, cancer specifically. So here they are in no particular order, but I think uh, the fifth one is the most important. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and not go into too much details, but uh, just give a little bit of why I think it's helpful. So uh, the first thing is listen. Everybody going through anything needs somebody to listen to what they're going through. And uh, this one's hard for me because I'm a problem solver. So sometimes I gotta remind myself to just shut up and listen. I don't have to solve uh, the cancer. I don't have to come up with a solution to everything, okay? So listen, that's all there is to it. Just listen. Uh, the second one is research, learn. What is the illness? What is, in my case, the cancer? Um, what do I need to know, know more about? How can I be more prepared to support Sarah? Uh, what can I expect? So, research. Uh, the third one is contradictory to what I just said uh, in some ways. You wanna, you wanna know about it, but that doesn't mean you need to give advice. Doesn't mean we need to solve. So number three is don't push advice onto your person. They don't necessarily need it. All right. We want to research so we know how we can help, but don't overdo the advice. There's a lot of solutions out there that work for one person, but not necessarily another. So share, definitely share what you've learned, um, share potential solutions, but don't push them. All right. All right, so number four, help with difficult tasks. Don't ask how you can help. Learn what is becoming more difficult and do those tasks. All while balancing the reality that you don't want to take away everything from from them. So make sure that you're not doing everything because they still want independence. They're still going to want to be able to do things, but find the tasks that are causing pain or causing strain or that are becoming more difficult to take care of and take care of them. Don't ask, just do it. The last one, like I said, I think this is number one. This is the most important and and it's to remember that their case, whatever it may be, is different than everybody else's. It's unique to them, which means all of the other things that you hear about people in similar situations may be relevant, but isn't a fix. So it's important to remember that they are unique and not to push all of that other stuff on them. Like I said earlier, suggestions and advice without pushing it can be helpful. Hey, check this out. Hey, this might work. But they are unique, which means we need to treat them unique and understand that their decisions are what's most important for them. Their choices are what's going to help them. Them listening to the people that they find have the most knowledge is what's important to them. And so we as caregivers, as caretakers, need to do the same thing. We need to listen to the people that are important to them. We need to be following the advice that's important to them and be supporting them in the decisions that they are making. And if that doesn't always agree with our opinion, that's okay. We need to set that aside and we need to support them how they need to be supported. So that's it. Five ways that we can support our people that are going through some of the hardest times of their lives. That's our job. Peace.